getting mad. So many people sleep on this, and this is the thing that separates the top brands from the lower brands. Now, for those of you who uh, have already made it through a large portion of this course, you already know who I am, but maybe you just leaked in in this video. I don't see how that would happen, but I'm still going to introduce myself a little bit. Uh, Country Cowboy here at the Cineverse. I'm taking care of all of social media here at the Cineverse. So I'm the guy uh, who runs the Cineverse page. I'm the guy who uh, makes sure that Princeton's page is growing. I'm the guy who makes sure Justin's page is growing. I'm the guy who makes sure every single person in Instagram Explosion, and along with a couple other representatives, um, who makes sure that everybody's social media is reaching the maximum potential. But one of the things that I love to give all of our clients and everybody who... Uh, really wants to take their business to the next level in the next 30 days, I like to give them this content map. Now, this is a map that I swore by the moment that I seen it because I had already had three of these things, three out of five of these things that I'm about to go over with you. I already had those things engraved into my social media, but it wasn't until I added all five of these in the pot and mixed it up, uh, my Instagram and my social media and my Facebook, all of these different things became a well-oiled machine. So let's go ahead and start off with motivation on your content map. Now, uh, I'm going to show you this map right here, and you can definitely uh, get it. Um, you're, you should have this already, this booklet. Uh, if you don't, make sure you get this booklet because this content map is something that uh, I know it, everybody needs to implement into their uh, social media strategy. So, so the first one is motivational content. Motivational is so important because what it does is it psychologically uh, keeps people in tuned with your content. Now, most of the time, uh, motivational content is, well, not most of the time, pretty much motivational content is just content that really, really keeps your clients stuck like glue. It just motivates people to get up, take action. Like you always want to help people and get them motivated to do stuff because people help people. I always like to stress that to my clients. Like within starting a business, one of the key things I think a lot of people need to realize is that people give you money, not machines, not like some weird thing. Like your first million dollars will come from a variety of people. So if you can give people a different value, like this is a form of value, motivation. If you can motivate a person to take action or do something greater than what they're doing, they'll love you. And if they love you, they'll pay you. Luckily, you have this course so your business will be well oiled and you won't have to run into a problem where people love you and you can't fulfill. And that's a real thing. Like I've been there before as well. But motivational content is definitely one of the five things in the content map that you should definitely take seriously. Let's go on to the next one. Entertainment. Now, so many people uh, skip this portion because they want to do a lot of one thing. They're known for one thing. They want to... Uh, pretty much post what the people want, of course, but I feel like people respect you more if you find a cool way to entertain them through the content that they came to see. So, for instance, I got a guy, um, Ja Rule. He's definitely a part of our inner circle when it comes to social media influencers, and we share a lot of ideas together. But one thing I really love about his page is his page is very skateboard-oriented. So he does a lot of tricks. He got... A lot of different people doing tricks on his page. But one thing I love about him is he'll do like motion picture skits. Now, of course, they're not motion picture skits, but he'll do like skits that are very, very entertaining. And then he'll throw a skateboard in there. But this is just the entertainment side of it. And I really enjoy uh, the fact that he takes the time to really toss in some entertainment in his content so it won't be all skateboard, 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 skateboard. He mixes it up and he gives his audience a form of entertainment. The next thing I want to talk about is educational. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and all of these different platforms, you know I'm a very heavy entertainer, but I also like to add my education in there. Education is definitely uh, the future. We talk about this um, amongst us inside of here when we do our huddles, our daily huddles and phone calls and stuff like that. Uh, the future lies in education. So if you follow me on Snapchat or you follow Princeton Hicks, you'll see that we give a lot of educational uh, material to the people who follow us. For instance, 
Um, sometimes I'll get on uh, social media and I'll talk about like the days. I remember I got on Instagram and I went through a complete time gap of when Instagram was first born. I remember the first day and I told my journey throughout uh, how Instagram evolved and how I evolved with it and why I am where I am now. And I believe that this was so valuable to my uh, audience because I educated them on the exact day the DMs were born. I educated them on the exact day Instagram was launched. I remember all of these different things, and I remember the way I thought about it when it came about and how I took it to my advantage. If you can educate people about facts, just anything about the business that you're in, like say, for instance, it's social media. It's cool to educate people and give them a, 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 a map or an email talking about like just facts that nobody ever knew about social media. Because what begins to happen is the client trusts you with the information and the tools that you're giving them because you're educating them. They go to you for education. Um, the reason why we trust school so much is because we go there, and although some people may not agree with school, there's some hard education that you can get out of there that can help you with the real world. I mean, it's a bunch of stuff in school that, 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 that I learned that educated me for what I'm doing now. You know what I mean? So education... It's definitely one of the things that I feel like a lot of people, when they draw their content map, they really skip out on this because a lot of people just don't know the history about what they're even doing. So I definitely recommend that you go back uh, to the drawing board and get some education material to uh, shoot out to your audience because they'll love you forever for that. The next thing I want to talk about is instructional, okay? Instructional content is so important because you have a lot of people who literally do not know how to work the things that you are great at. So let's say, for instance, one time me and P, uh, me, Princeton, Justin, and uh, Jordan, all of our squad, we built a website, and we wanted to show people how to maneuver through it, right? So what we would do is we would flip our phones around, and we would record the screen on our desktop and walk people literally through exactly how to get to the checkout button after you get to the checkout button, what would happen? We did this on uh, the Instagram Explosion page. You can check that out after this video or during this video, whenever you want to do it. But we did an instructional video on how to purchase our product. We did an instructional video on how um, you can expect to be entered into the product. All of this stuff is very, very important because a lot of people want to know how. A lot of people need to know how does this work? How does this, how is this going to benefit me? How does your product um, relate to what I'm going through right now? And the only way you can relay that to people or get that message across to individuals is if you do informational content, okay? I mean instructional content, excuse me. Now, instructional content can go on your story. It can go on your feed. No matter what platform you're on, you can be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All of this stuff applies to any social media platform that you're using. So instructional, instructional content is definitely content that I believe that a lot of people sleep on as well, but it definitely helps you out so you don't have to answer so many of those same questions. How do I get to the office? How do I buy? Where's the buy button? You know what I mean? So all of this stuff is just, it can be packaged into your social media and stored right there so when people visit it, they understand how to take, you know action on whatever it is that you want them to take action on. The last one is the most important one in your content map. This one right here, this one is um, one of those things that if you do too much of this, your, your social media will take a plummet because a lot of people um, are so money hungry, they want, to get, they want to get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money, but they don't realize that you have to give motivational content, you have to give entertainment content, you have to give educational content, and you have to instruct people on how to do stuff before you do this last one. And this last one is promotional content. This is the dollars. This is what gets you the money, okay? Most people say, I'm going to start my Instagram and just sell one follower. I'm going to have one follower. I'm going to sell them everything. It's like, okay, first of all, um, you haven't provided us any motivation to use your product, okay? Because without that, I don't want it, Okay. I don't even think that this company is entertaining. Um, I watched uh, a movie on Netflix, uh, and it was called Firefest. They took 
a marketing company called Fuck Jerry. And this is just a cool name, right? I thought it was so amazing that they named their company Fuck Jerry because immediately you have some entertainment in that, right? And I wanted to give that example because I thought that that was just amazing, uh, amazing name. Fuck Jerry, that was cool, right? And educational. So many people skip all of this educational, instructional. All of this thing, all of these things are what you need to drive money into your business. Promotional content is the key. It's what drives all of the money into your business, okay? When you do promotional content, you definitely don't want to just slap a bunch of different flyers on your page telling people to uh, buy this, buy that, here's this, here's that. You want to mix it in with everything else on your content map because you don't want people to feel like they're being sold. Um, people are um, rebellious when it comes to like straight up walking up to them like, hey, you want to buy this? Nobody will buy like that. But if you go up to them and you present all of these, all of these different things on this content map, and then you ask them or you promote something to them, they're more inclined to buy it. So that's my content map. And that's pretty much how we operate over here. It's worked for everybody. I give this to all our clients at Instagram Exposure. We all use this. And um, this is definitely something that you should implement in your uh, journey of starting your business in the next 30 days. Mm -hmm.